parts of my life feel like some of these uploaders do things on purpose. I don't even know I exist. But it just feels like every single time I'm almost done with something, somebody uploads. And for the fact that for Star Spook, for a great example, my next time of me recording that 66 video, it will be my last one. That'll be 11 to 1. My man uploaded a 70 scary video. A 70 scary video video. I was going to finish that 66 to get back to Bizarre Bow for a little bit and then try and maybe do another one of his older videos that he did, you know, more than 20 scary videos in one video. Now I have to go through his 70 and maybe I'm going to divide it. I feel like 10 per video might be too long. And if I do 15, I'm horrible with math at the moment. Let me see. 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That'd be five videos. Four of them are 15. The last one being with 10. Yeah, that seems kind of fair. I'm about to do 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14. Plus 14? Okay, five videos, 14 each will give you 70 videos. Exactly. Why did my brain automatically think about that math? Anyways, all right, I have my plan. Today is Nuke's top five, technically top 10. Last 20 of his videos has been top 10s. 10 scary videos to creep you out. I feel like I've seen this title before from one of his videos. I don't know. But yeah, Nuke Daddy's back. I'm going to react to it now. It's Monday the 29th. You guys are getting it to 30th. Last bit of this long ass intro. I was playing Elden Ring. I got to Radon, the DLC version of Radon. Ah, uh, I broke my monitor. Let's leave it at that. I had to wait until the replacement monitor for me to do anything reaction wise, and all that kind of sorts. So let's get into the video. 10 scary videos to creep you out. No regrets. A father says that he was busy working in his office one day when his son came running in and seemed very upset. The boy claimed that, quote, a man was moving things in the other room. The dad follows the boy into the living room to find things scattered all across the floor. So he checks his security cam to see just what happened. What he finds chills him to, to his, his core. core. Isn't this the Indian family? I'm pretty sure this is the Indian family. Caterpillar. A Roomba. He's getting dragged. going in one direction only if it was going in multiple different directions i will not feel like there's a string a part of it the fact that it's only going right is he getting pushed it's the door there if it was the object toy in a dog hmm. bed can be seen sliding across the living room floor all by themselves the seemingly annoyed little boy mm. rushes over to the objects and even starts picking up the dog bed and throwing it back to the floor in frustration. The dog bed then aggressively slides back towards him, knocking him over. But luckily, the little boy lands right on the soft bed. So just what was the boy seeing when he told his dad that, quote, a man was moving things? Could some dark presence be haunting their home? You decide. Uh, my doubts. I'm person X. Okay. I'm, I'm person X to doubt. I'm a hundred percent person X to doubt. I'm going to hit you guys with the submarine Logitech controller. I'm still going to be pressing X to doubt. 
You see? That's me doubting. Yeah, if it was moving in multiple different angles and directions, like going up, down, left, right, up, down. If it was going in multiple different angles and directions, not just one linear directions, especially it being a door in that little area behind the cave, where he, especially where he came from. I just feel like it's the father doing a little pulley system. And he's like, oh, play with this as I'm pulling it. Because if it's truly a poltergeist activity, it won't be going in one linear direction. That's just my opinion. Glitches in the Matrix. TikTok user Eddie is parked in oh, front of a Boston like Pizza Tate. restaurant in Fresno, California, when he spots something very weird. Okay, where is this car that's reflecting on this Boston Pizza window? It's a Corvette C8. I seriously don't see that car anywhere. Where's that car? There's a bush next. Where, where is that car? Hello, where's that car? Where is this car? Camouflage. The reflection of the restaurant's window, Eddie sees an orange Corvette C8. But when he looks around the parking lot, it's not there. In disbelief, Eddie posts his video to TikTok, wondering if he might have caught a quote, glitch in the matrix. The bizarre footage goes viral, receiving over 2.8 million views. In the comments, viewers repeatedly ask Eddie to go back and film the location one more time. Okay, we are back at the same parking lot because one of the many comments you guys were saying is, go walk up to it. Uh, the car is either inside of the pizza parlor or it's a wrap on the window. I don't know. Let's check it out. So I'm walking to it right now. If you look at it actually from this point of view, the reflections look kind of accurate. Okay. There's a. Hey, I'm getting in the background. Like car reflecting. That's right here. And no, there's like no car in there. This time, the shop window accurately reflects what's right in front of it. Mm. The orange Corvette is no longer there. Cut to mm. another video of a supposed, quote, glitch in the matrix. Late one night Good in video. Nashville, Tennessee, a woman's friends tell her to quickly grab her camera and hurry outside to check out some you guys really get a bizarre activity going on in the night sky. That's the moon. The moon discharge. That sounds nasty. My man got a galaxy. What the hell? Oh. Our friends watch in shock as the moon seems to change colors from green to red and then suddenly seems to just discharge some kind of electricity. Spectators to the uh, show. I thought discharge or something else. Everything from a possible government cover up, aliens, and of course, I live with women, so I know what discharge is. Matrix. But whether it's a glitch, aliens, or maybe just a really good fake, I leave that up to you to it decide. Could be. Could be. Followed home. Back in 2015, Candace Gardner and her husband attended a Halloween party at Not an abandoned Owens. and allegedly haunted prison with a dark history. It was a huge mistake. Candace says that huge. the entire night at the party, she felt like it was something huge. was watching her. And ever since that night, strange things have been happening in Candace's home. Attached. She now believes that a malicious entity might have followed her home from the attached to her, not follow a attached that intends to harm her and her family. Soon after the prison trip, Candace begins to experience unexplained activity in her home. Lights flicker on and off at night while Candace and her husband sleep. Doors in the house open and close on their own. But scariest of all, 
the spirit begins to aggressively throw objects at Candace. And these frightening incidents continue to escalate as it seems that the entity mm. wants to seriously hurt Candace. Oh. 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 While Candace is sleeping, oh. she starts to wake up to painful, violent attacks as oh. if some unseen force is roughly grabbing or pulling at her. And she says she caught proof. I don't so care if things were clicks. Candace and her husband fall asleep while watching TV on the couch. As the couple sleeps, a CCTV camera in the room captures something absolutely horrifying. I don't care if things are for clicks and likes, but I would never even attempt to even stage things with knives. But this is kind of gearing me towards to kind of believable side. Again, people have done crazy stuff for clicks and views. So I'm not saying I'm totally believe this. But for you to try to create a contraption to launch a knife and, you know, God forbid anything were to go wrong, someone could get seriously hurt. This kind of gears me towards the spectrum of believable. All right. I'm also on the spectrum, so let's continue. For free? Oh. That's insane. Candace's leg appears to get grabbed and twisted painfully into the air by an invisible force. She wakes up in a panic and screams for her husband to help her, but all he can do is grab her leg and pull it back. Eventually, he manages to free Candace's legs from whatever is pulling on it, but poor Candace is left sobbing in pain and fear. Now, I have to say that after watching this footage and hearing Candace's desperate pleas for help, this video is very compelling. But do you believe that a dark entity followed Candace home from the prison and is now violently haunting her home? Let me know what you think. As for Candace, she says that her family still experiences terrifying paranormal events. You gotta to get day. blessed. We need scary videos. So how do you unpack this video? There's a, a lot of. Oof. If you're ever going to do a adventure to a sacred grounds or a place that people have stated that it is haunted. Don't fuck around, find out. It's yeah, just don't fuck around, find out. Bring a cross, get yourself blessed. I'm pretty sure. Again, I don't believe in any of this stuff. But it's still be great to have precautions. But if you are going to become anything, it's like with Sam and Dean. They have a tattoo of the thing. Obviously, Supernatural is a fictional TV show. But that just shows that they're ready to have the precautions so they will get possessed. It's almost comparing, you know, apples to oranges because one's a fictional show and this is real life. But it's the same kind of concept. Trying to do the same thing. Make sure you're blessed. Make sure you bring your little stones of negative repellents. It's like bug spray. Some of these items you could bring, necklaces and so on, to be spirit sprays. So if you've seen one or you have one, send it our way at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Hell or high water. 
Back in August 2021, an unexpected flash flood swept through downtown Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. At around 10 p.m., Tony Liu and his two friends are relaxing Tony in Lou. his apartment and watching the weather Hell reports yeah, about the flood. They decide to take the elevator down to have a look at the flooded city streets for themselves. It was a very bad idea. Uh oh. see your best moose impression. Oh. Tony and his friends didn't realize, but the lower levels of the apartment building were completely flooded with disgusting sewer water. Uh. As the elevator reaches the lobby, water pours inside, causing the elevator to malfunction and trap them inside with the rising water. Once it got towards kind of my neck, chest, that's when I kind of, okay, like, I could possibly die in here. The water continues to flood in, filling the elevator to the point that the three friends can barely keep their head above water. Tony is panicked and makes an emergency phone call to his roommate, Dalen Stapp, and the roommate hurries downstairs to try to help his trapped friends. I told him, hey, uh, I'm, I'm gonna die in here if you guys don't come and try to do something. We went down and the fuck a final destination and just tried pulling it apart with everything we could. We had to get him out or could have been fatal. Tony's roommate Dalen finally managed That's a to pry open the flooded elevator doors to free his friends from what could have been their watery grave. Luckily, they all escape and swim to safety without so much as a scratch. Not surprisingly, Tony Liu says that this was the scariest thing that has ever happened to him. How scary was this? Honestly, I would say this is number one, the most scariest thing in my life. Yep. Hands down. Okay, thank you. Shoot. Aren't there supposed to be hatches in the top to help you climb out? Like, isn't that supposed to be like a foolproof plan with elevators to have a fucking hatch above? I mean, again, yes, they're in the water but they can't do the whole mechanic where someone gets on the person's arm and push up and they push up whatever even for instant even though uh even for nauseous you think about that Oof. yeah i just felt nauseous just thinking about that even concept but like if i was in a situation i'll locate that little hatch and if even if i had to put uh, Put my head on the water for a couple of seconds. Like I would just bite my lips, just completely make sure no residue of that fucking sewer water hits my lips and whatever. But I would just make sure I have my eyes closed, mouth closed. And if I have to lift my friend up so she could open the hatch and then we could pull up and then you know, go up to that or whatever, I'm down for that. But damn, I. I I wouldn't even know. He probably has used the title "Creep You Out," but because this is scary videos, he just probably took out the scary ghost videos and just reused the title, which is smart. Watson, the Rainbow Fountain and Grill in Carrollton, Texas, was built back in. When your son asks you a question, it became the what son? Local soda shop that it is today. It was home to a pharmacy and a medical office. One of the doctors who frequently worked out of the building was Dr. Robert Blackburn, who was famously mm. known for bringing his cute little dog Watson along mm. with him everywhere, even to patients' houses. It is said that Dr. Blackburn's loyal little dog Watson still haunts the building to this day. When your son asks you, how does light bulbs get their power? Watson. Over the years, workers and customers at the cafe claim to have had strange, unexplained experiences with the ghost of Watson the dog. But the food gets eaten in front of them? They could actually feel the spirit of the little dog jump right up on their legs. Since the restaurant added security cameras, they have started to capture some of these strange encounters on video. Take a look.
Hmm. CCTV footage shows employees and visitors getting nipped at the ankles or even scratched by something that they can't see. Now with so many people experiencing the exact same phenomena, and with all of it caught on camera, it makes you wonder whether the spirit of little Watson the dog is still hanging around the old soda shop, scaring the patrons, but perhaps only trying to find new friends to play with. Huh. This is a phenomenon I would not mind seeing for myself. Typically when it's like only one person or two people involved in a interaction with a quote spirit. That's something like, okay, typically them on. The fact that these are regular patrons and almost every single person is dealing with the same reaction the moment they get to the door, they have like something biting their ankles or playing with their ankles, which makes sense because Watson is a tiny dog. I would not mind trying to experience this in real life. That's interesting. In a flash. <laughs> Sometimes a very silly moment turns scary in an instant. Two guys are just goofing around, but then like a bolt out of the blue, fun time is over. Okay. <laughs> A sudden, very close lightning strike rips through the clouds and scares the living out of them, sending them running inside in terror. Get a cigarette, though. No smoking in my goddamn house. He didn't see it. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. There ain't no smoking in my house. Hello, doggy. It's a little Hello, before six nurse. in the morning when a Reddit user's dog, who's home alone, experiences something very creepy camera captures the sound of an unexplained voice whispering hello which seems to send the dog right into a panic that was very a long hello a hello mirror mirror on the wall. The guy named Edgar Virgen from Colima, Mexico says that his four-year-old niece was given a very strange old toy. A pink mirror that lights up, plays oh. music, and features a pre-recorded voice that says cute little phrases. Mm, nothing too odd there. They remove the batteries from the toy and store it in the barn behind the house. Years pass and the family forgets all about the toy until they start to hear a strange little voice <laughs> coming from the barn in the middle of the night. Yeah, the, night. That the voice sounded just like the mirror toy and was saying things like come play with me followed by a sinister little giggle <laughs> he posted his video and story to tiktok and things got even weirder because you see some viewers commented that they had the exact same mirror toy but they said that their mirror didn't talk at all viewers urged edgar to make one more video with the strange toy he's reluctant but eventually, he searches out the mirror in the family's barn. Doesn't talk and at all. This happens. Para los que me estuvieron pidiendo que buscara el espejo y le pusiera baterías, aquí está. Solo pude encontrar estas piezas y, pues sí, le puse unas baterías que tenía aquí en la casa. Como ven, son nuevas. Ora. La neta no creo que prenda, pero bueno, vamos a calarle. Miedo. Hola. Hola, encantado de conocerte. Gracias, amigo. Me da gusto. <risa> Eres muy divertido. ¿Tienes una fiesta? Mm, no, no tengo fiesta. ¿Tú tienes? No sé. Cuando me levanté, te vi a ti. Ay, vas y chingas a tu madre. Edgar says that at this point he's just done with the mirror. He says he threw it out with the trash. So could a paranormal entity be attached to this toy? Let me know what you think. I would have kept it. I would have kept it because Loki feel like an AI was probably programmed to that shit. Like the response time is way too fast. And the answering is way too accurate. I would have sold it. If anything, I would definitely have sold it. 
yeah what's your thoughts guys because yeah that's a little bit too responsive too fast could be a mic somebody's answering it live like a discord type of thing they put like a little chip in it where because the live feed attached to a microphone i don't know if none of this was be talking and if you kind of look at the screen right now maybe this is like a little camera that they kind of installed i don't know i'm not saying they tried to made this faulty or did they made this gimmicky maybe they program in a certain way thought it'd be an interesting idea to make it into a whole video this is just a lot of assumptions not too many things to give specifics or how to explain it monkeying around an antique collector says he stores all of his collectibles in a local storage unit but lately things have gotten a little strange he oh says no that he's starting to get odd complaints from the staff at the storage facility they said that they heard bizarre loud noises coming from inside his storage unit at all hours of the day and night. Oh no. The antique collector is very confused at what the noises could be and sets up a security camera inside the unit to see what could be going on. It looks the camera sees it being watched. An old antique monkey doll that he recently purchased inexplicably sits up and just moves around on its own. Then it drops right back down, motionless. After witnessing this creepy incident, the antique collector says that he believes that the old doll might be cursed or have a paranormal entity attached to it. Isn't the same exact thing? So is this footage real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? An item As has always you decide. If an item has an attachment, like a spirit attached to it, does that make it cursed? Obviously, there's a few repeats. Some of the videos you may have seen may have been either edited out or cut down tremendously. I don't want to give you guys content that I've already seen. The last basically the last four stories we've kind of seen. This hasn't been bad. I love the format of these ghost videos and these scary videos. But I do kind of want to go into the realms of other scary videos. I kind of would like to see the whole investigation of some of these videos. Like I wouldn't mind going into the realm of Urban X Hills, Xia Long, Michael from Korea. I forgot the people in Japan, Okamotoki. I wouldn't mind watching those videos raw and their actual independent videos. I'm pretty sure the ones are the foreign ones, as in the one, the ones from the Asian parts of the world. I'm pretty sure they have English captions to their videos. So even though it would have to be more of us like reading what's going on, because I'm not native. I'm pretty sure a majority of people who are watching are not native to those languages. Obviously, if it hits a certain demographics, then yes, it's normal to people who are geared towards that type of content and especially for that region but i wouldn't mind watching those kind of i would not mind watching those type of videos but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and this reaction of 10 scary videos to creep you out as always i love your faces and i'm out peace